Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Diablo 4 video. Today I have a really cool guide for you. If you want to play Necro and have a really fun build during the open beta, today I have the amazing Undead Army build for you. And it is nice. I mean, look at all of that. We have not one, not two, not three, but seven different skeletal warriors and four different mages and of course that lovely golem and i'll show you how amazing this build is now let's go once again thanks for watching everybody without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's get started now of course there is one specific item that you're going to need in order to make this build amazing now the build can be really good i mean look at it the helmet doesn't even have a necessary legendary not yet i haven't found one to fit this build yet now we're going to move on to the chest piece for our gear this set can be so much better and we want to start off with our chest piece i imprinted it with aspect becoming injured while crowd control grants you unstoppable for seconds just going to affect it every 36 seconds through some thorns on that thorns in the helmet and it'll all come into play a little bit later on for our gloves we imprinted it with your skeleton gains increased damage while alive up to 20 percent for 10 seconds and this is key you can also get it up to 30 seconds if you imprint it on your amulet so just keep that in mind if you ever see this is going to be key to making this build really really good for our legs we went with you heal for 5.1 seconds for all the way up to 46 per second which is really good because you kind of look a little bit squishy with this but we're going to be keeping our distance on our enemies are just going to be getting throttled by our army for our legs piece we got the lucky hit when you hit with crowd control enemies. There's up a 36% chance for crowd control effect to spread to unaffected enemies. And for our weapon, attacking enemies with a basic skill increases the damage of your next core skill cast by 8% up to 50%. And this is really good because we're going to be using our bone ability, which is extremely powerful. And after we cast our regular ability, and we're going to be hitting them with blight, we're going to be hitting them with bone, it's going to just be amazing. Now, for our offhand, we are also going to have the aspect you have 24% increased critical strike chance against injured enemies. And while you're healthy, you're going to have 48% increased crowd control duration so we're going to be boosting up our critical hit chance and also when we're healthy we're going to be getting extra crowd control it's amazing right we also have our lovely lovely two rings first off we want to get two percent extra primary resource when we crowd control enemies and they're always crowd control so we're able to use all of our abilities and almost spam them so we don't use any of our resources which is really cool and also we imprinted our next one with the skill seals up to 27 percent increased damage based on your available primary resource when cast receiving the maximum benefits when you have full primary resource so i'm not exactly sure how much this is going to quantify as far as damage but i do notice it once i take this off so i'm definitely keeping this on for our necklace we went with the imprinted aspect of your maximum number of skeletal warriors is increased by three and that's how we get in this huge army because it can only be increased by two if you put it on your weapon so i went with the amulet so we can get that maximum amount of dark army now here are some of our stats that we're going to go over so you can see some of the damage that we're going to get now remember this is really not about you dealing all the damage you're going to be throwing down the curses you're going to be using your bone skills right that's where you're going to be getting most of your damage from but all of your damage is going to be coming from your army you're going to be giving them all the love and basically your most damaging skill you're going to be throwing down is your bone you're going to be throwing down curses you're going to be throwing down your blight that's going to be slowing down enemies and you basically can just spam it just keep tossing them down and we also have one ability when we throw down our curses it's not going to use any resources at all so two of our abilities are regular ability and of course our curse that we're going to be using we won't use any resources so we can just use our bone ability and we're going to be getting our resources back our mob is going to be surrounding enemies and all you have to do is just kick back stand back from a distance and just let them do the work 
it is pretty cool it's a whole lot of fun and if you want to have your undead army like you had in Diablo 2 this is how I achieve that same effect not sure exactly how viable it is going to be in in game but it's really fun inside of the open beta for our book of the dead we went with the skirmisher so we can get one extra warrior and extra damage for our skirmisher warriors right so that is why we went with that and no worries about the reduced life because we're going to give them a whole bunch of life and extra damage all right so that's why we went with that for our mages we went with a cold mage and we went with this because every time the enemy will attack we will going to be getting two essence back which is really good so we're definitely going to be needing that right for our golem we went with the middle and we went with the bone because pretty much that's all we got but it's going to benefit because both of this and the skeletal mage both going to be using the extra thorns from us when we boosted it up for our decompose this is what we went with for our first couple points so put this in and out we're going to be slowing them down with our decompose and we're going to be getting some essence back for our main ability which is really cool now let's go down to our core skills we got two different core skills that we're going to be using our bone spear which is really really damaging and it's really really cool only two points into this so we can use one more point so we can max out all of our minions now we want to go with blight Blight is going to be really cool. We're going to throw it down. It's a damage over time effect. We're going to be slowing down your enemies. You're going to be dealing a ton of damage. Just kick back and let them do the work. Of course, they're going to be even slowed down even more with enhanced Blight, right? And then Supernatural Blight, you your minions deal 50% damage when they're standing in the Blight. So you throw down the poison, right? They're standing in the Blight. They slow down. Your enemies deal even more damage. And while you stand back, you just kick back and let them do the work. It is really fun, Bill, just like it was in Diablo 2, right? So here we are with our Skeletal Warrior Mastery. We're going to max this out all the way up to 45% for our Warriors. Then we're going to come down to our Curse Skill and we're going to amplify our damage. So extra 9% to curse enemies and since they're always going to be cursed it's an extra nine percent of damage now we're going to go with iron maiden we're going to throw down this curse and you're going to get more damage over time effect with this right so that's why we're going to do it and we're going to do this because our next ability in this iron maiden is going to make us have no cost at all that's right enhanced iron maiden no longer costs essence instead you gain five essence for each enemy curse so when we get hordes of enemies we just throw down that curse we're going to be getting our mana back they're going to be cursed and with iron horde maiden of course the enemies are more they're going to get increased damage by 15 percent so the damage is going to stack we're going to be getting our mana back and then we're going to go with our skeletal mages we're going to definitely hook them up max that out so they have 45 percent extra damage and then we're going to come down to our corpse and macabre skills we're actually going to go over here to the left and go to reaper's pursuit one point over here into the darkness so we can boost our speed up a little bit we're going to go with gloom one point into here so us and our minions can do a little bit more extra damage with our shadow skills and since we're throwing down that blight and our main ability both being shadow skills we're going to benefit from that and then our last but not least in this area right here terror skill extra three percent bonus damage to enemies that are slowed in they're going to be slowed down by both of our abilities so extra little stack on damage and you know when the full game come out i'm pretty sure they'd be pretty cool right there to max that out and last but not least three points in the goal for 45 percent for maxed out everything in our army the love is for the army and this undead army is so much fun and there's a lot of nice if you love playing this in diablo 2 or diablo 3 this is the build that i got you got to make sure you have increased damage to your undead army and make sure you have extra skeletal dead army mates as well but that's pretty much going for the video i hope you truly enjoyed it as always if you're new to the channel how you doing and welcome don't forget to subscribe right here at carpal game below the wide variety of videos range from updates tips and tricks guys and news and a whole lot more so hopefully you enjoyed this video once again thank you everybody for all your love and support as always i'll be seeing y'all in the next one later